all right welcome back to the channel i'm king of Baden, and in today's video we're back with xcom like i said a few seconds right after the last one i went through listen to the audio of that last video it's kind of not the best um so i made a few adjustments i re-leveled my mic because i think that was also the issue and realized that my game sound was probably a little too high the entire time um so like i said bear with me for a little bit while i get my levels right um yeah we're going right back into it right where we left off I don't know if i'm gonna release these like all back to back to back like just a week or however long it takes of xcom straight through or if i'm gonna stretch it out like two of these a week because this is definitely the thing that's gonna take the longest uh but when i first like when i start releasing these videos again the thing is that i'm going for is to wrap up all the series that i had continuing from what is essentially season one i don't know if i've said that already or just thought it while i was on the break on the break while i was between my recording but there's really not much else to do here. I think we have already already have everything else set up. That's going. We have nobody getting a scar removed. We'll put her in here to have her scar removed. And then we can put patchwork in here to continue working on this. Right? We do want to see Claymore's last move. These two are new. Zephyr's our favorite. So yeah, say our favorite, my favorite. For sure. I'm not gonna push my my own thoughts on you all. So this one gives us an item. Either way we go, we're gonna get two unrest in one of these districts. But this one gives us AP rounds as well, which I definitely if want. Armor lucky, piercing. We can reach an endangered VIP before hostile forces arrive. Our goal is to extract the VIP before hostiles can overwhelm the position. Get to the evac and get out. All right. Okay. I think I want him to have the breach charge. Uh, Claymore. That is his name, right? What was I called? I know I called him the wrong name for the longest time at the beginning. You don't get the med kit. You're too slow. You can get the med kit. Um, oh, you have a hollow scanner with you, also, and extra padding. Okay, I forgot. I didn't even realize that I had that on her. That's that's definitely who needs the extra padding and the hollow scanner because she never leads through an entrance. Ooh, forgot to check the encounters right before I started. Like I went to look at it and then push start. It should be fine though. Two, one or two encounters I'm expecting. Hostile swarming your position. Get our friendly VIP to the evac. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first unit through this entrance will be rooted for one turn. That means that I don't want Zephyr to lead through. She's immune to, to being held in place, stiffed right into the mic. Um, I think Shelter is going to be the best for that because you can just teleport to wherever you want him to be. And then we'll go with Zephyr using the hollow scanner. Then we'll go Claymore and Blue Blood to try and clean up whatever's left. We're definitely doing enhanced pistols first. We capitalize on Blue Blood's high uh, accuracy or high aim, let's say. Anybody? You are. It doesn't look like anybody else is over there. It's orientated. We're still going to use this on you, though. Cause you're the only one who's gonna take a shot. It's gonna take two, two or three. Oh, we did disorientate a bunch more people. It's gonna take us like two or three uh, shots at you to take you down. But we'll send Zephyr over there to deal with you. I think her, she does like three damage all the time, which is pretty good. You could potentially take them out right now, which you did, perfect. And we're back to the normal shotguns too, which I like the sound of much better. Uh, who do we wanna take a shot at? Fire the Lancer pistol at a target, ignoring all cover and bu cover bump. Could do this, and then they'll be taken out. Yeah, they're gonna be taken out no matter what now, I believe. And they missed their shot too. So now Zephyr's going over there to clean up, I believe. Yeah. All right. Cool. Two critical hits. That's pretty good. Solid hit. And he's rooted for his time. VIP in sight. To target in sight. All right, and that's where we have to get them to. This isn't too big of an area right now. We're starting with him. I'm wary to move him across this bridge, the VIP. 
because last time we had a uh, this is what we like as a well a map that looks similar to this with a bunch of cars on a bridge is where we lost our first mission in the last playthrough now we're gonna overwatch this area I see it, i'll shoot it you got this so i'm scared to move him out and put him by a car i can't put him in this alley because they're gonna have a clean shot on him other side is gonna be the same thing um but i definitely i guess i'll just leave him there okay down but keep him completely safe inside of that building he landed his shots this time he's out in the open didn't think about that doesn't I'm matter not an easy target. number two could hit number two and try and do something to them and get them disorientated or something or we can go for number four and take them out completely we can't reach number two from here i'll go for the number four dude his weapon was disabled uh we're gonna carry yeah i had a feeling that they the hitman was gonna try and get in position to shoot at zephyr so i did put that parry on so it's gonna be blocked anyways this is a lot of stuff happening slowly tracking target weapon oh that's not what i expected at all and now they're in overwatch can we hit both of them with this we cannot but we know for sure it's gonna go off before that throwing explosive and who can you see to take a shot at Try and take them out. Yo. Drop to hostile. These are all moves that I haven't been expecting so far. We can use dead eye. Try and weaken them. Yeah, okay. So now they're gonna die on that turn. We don't have to do anything else to them. And see if we can get a shot on them. They did line themselves up directly with us. Still got it. So now, is this the hostage? No. Are all hostages? No. There's some that are gonna come over here. I'll cover the squad. We are ready for them. This is the hostage. I'm gonna move the hostage all the way up here. Hopefully, no cars start to explode. I did kind of put them out in the open towards that one. Uh, I think Zephyr for now. You can just prepare right here. And then way more. When is this gonna by you? Is it gonna go off before or after they come in? Go af after they come in. I'm gonna put this way down here. That way I can potentially blow up these cars. That way it's safe for the uh VIP as we move through this area instead of potentially having stuff explode while we're walking not through, get it. through. And the last person. him and we'll put him right here that way he still has cover from those angles he's going to be unprotected from behind keep but i also put some overwatch in this area Don't burn through your ammo. i did not see that bottom that bottom right entrance i guess interesting shot didn't see the bottom right entrance so i didn't put anybody overwatching it so i think they get in clean fire weapon at them for 62 Or, right. How close can, to this explosion? Not very, it seems. Number three is the first one up, too. I have plenty of time to deal with this. I cannot see the range on that explosive. No, I'm not gonna. What I was gonna try and do is run into the range of that explosion and then switch spots with the enemy. get a clear shot on them try and get the uh critical chance to go pretty high up at least the chance to hit oh yeah we were able to take them out Glad that goes off side. still hasn't detonated those cars which i'm waiting for it to occur before i really want to move this vip any closer 
you have two enemies to deal with right now. Go for the number two. And then we can parry the number four. Parry. And you are pretty much clear to go all the way up here. I don't know if this truck can explode. We're, we're still going to dash you away, P. I don't think that car was damaged by the explosion. Either way, it's not smoking right now, so it shouldn't spontaneously combust out of nowhere. Bob Looks like that cover weed. didn't do much for us either. Don't let it phase you. I mean, we can stop moving everybody else up, too. Uh, could use dead eye or can move him back and have him overwatch in the area. I keep turning my head while I'm talking too, because I'm just used to doing that, which doesn't really work out. Um, because I also got a new microphone that seems to be more rely relying on talking directly. Right, but the snowball if I was using move, it was I'll fine shoot. to turn my head, but not with this one. We'll put him right here. We'll have him overwatch the area right behind. Looking for targets. Check your zone. We're gonna have Zephyr dash all the way over here. Out of my way. And we'll be able to move the VIP out of here. Ow. Evet. Moving out. Much. Oh. Can I get this grenade over? Here? It will go off before the next turn. Shrapnel, well. out. I was calling him Shrapnel. That's what it was. I was calling him by what his first ability, which doesn't make sense. All right, so you're overwatching the back way. They more can watch this door. Weapons and you running can go low. Into, well, you can use Dead Eye first. See if we can hit them. Only a 47% chance, ah, but it's also essentially a free shot, so might as well. And I uh, shouldn't have done that actually. I have to reload, and that's his whole. Back turn. in action. Moving on target. A lot of people coming in here. Not very effective. Landed his shot. That's all I cared about. Bunks not saying shit like he expected. This I really don't care what happened now. He, he really left a bad impression with that one little uh, nearly out voice line. If I dash you, can you make the exit? Yeah. Event. I still haven't found uh, a good use of his uh, relocation yet. I, I'm definitely seeing how I can use it, but I'm just not. I'm not there. You know? uh, can I use crippling? No, they're all way too far away for it to be worth it. Like, I can use crippling blow on number three, but then I won't make it back to the egg. Demolishing. That actually doesn't matter because I'll make the exit a little cooler for target down for good the rest of my team good hit fast as i still can. hoping these cars just don't just explode out of nowhere because it seems like that can just occur at it uh for no reason it doesn't look like it would interesting you cannot keep me down i never moved his overwatch also um yeah, I'll drop this on them. Yeah, confirm. I am the one that I'm gonna hit here, so it doesn't matter. And then I thought I forgot how little he can move. I forgot how little he can move. Use team up on I would need someone. Oh, I can have him move here and use team up with blue blood. 
get Claymore in another move. Funky doesn't get bitten again. Oh, he's gonna I die at his turn. One. He's going down. You should return the favor. Bitty. All right. You can stabilize. Them. And then get yourself out of here. Transferring. And then now it's Claymore's turn to also get out of here. Damn, that poison at the last second. I had a feeling it was coming. When they started getting way close, I knew it was coming. But hello? Hang on. Let me get the right angle so I don't mess this up. And when they were coming, I was like, okay, please buy Claymore, I guess. Because Claymore was already poisoned, so it wouldn't have done anything to him for real. Except for the two damage that it was already going to do, which he would have been fine with. But then Blue Blood was the one they went for, so. Shit. Hopefully he doesn't get a scar. We might not get one, but we probably will. I think we've gotten a scar on every mission. And especially since he was the only one gravely wounded, it wouldn't matter if he got a scar or not. Uh, if you go nowhere else during this, your time in City 31, you take time to visit Highland Square with convenient access to both local and regional travel. The score is the best that, this, that City 31's revitalized industry has to offer. New, pro, new products locally made come preview what the global economy could be. Tourism and we have improved field teams. We also picked up those AP rounds now. Yeah, he did pick up a scar. Hey, you okay? Yeah, mom passed long ago, but this time of year always hits me. Ah, you lose her to the invasion? No, the year before. Cancer. I'm sorry. Thing is, I'm glad she missed all this, you know? That she didn't have to live in a broken world. How messed up is that? It's a common thought. Truly. Thanks, man. That helps. To get these soon also. These will take two days and hence pistols will take three. I mean, since the guy who's gonna be using them the most is in here, I might as well have him gather them as well. We also have some upgrades for our people. Upgrade. Wow. We have promotions for our people because they're not robots necessarily. All right, let's see what Shelter gets. He's the one I'm most interested in. Upgrade relocate so that it delays the next turn of relocated enemy. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, upgrades relocate so that relocated XCOM units, including Shelter, gain 50% defense until the next round. I don't know. I don't know what a change in defense does necessarily. Like you said, you have plus one defense for a round, which I guess would take down the um, the damage by one, but I'm not sure what that means overall. You know what I mean? Like it's it says plus one defense. But like, can I, can I figure out what, what that actually means? UX com handbook, agent ability bin. I guess that's good to know, actually. Uh, scars are, are agents earn scars when they start bleeding out in combat. So if they bleed out, they are getting a scar. Scars can deepen if an agent is scarred again, which lowers the stats even more. They can also start depend, deepened if an agent is left behind on a mission while bleeding out. Every scar also unlocks a training program, which can use to remove it, no matter how deep it is. Yeah, I still haven't found anything talking about the defense. So I think I'm still gonna go for it though. Cause that's I it delays the delays the next turn of the relocated end. The thing is I don't know how much this is gonna delay it by. So I could be teleporting an enemy next to a bunch of my uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
It's like that thing I was talking about with Claymore Stratnal. But it, I, can, I can teleport an enemy into that range. And then Stratnal goes off because the turn is going to be a pretty useful combo right there. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. And let's see what we got here. We also have Zephyr's uh, level up or promotion. Uh, Zephyr attacks an enemy that enters or attacks melee range. Melee attacks that will deal lethal damage instead and render enemies unconscious. Melee attacks do plus one damage who places subdue. So the thing is, lockdown is the one that I didn't get last time. And I also played on my own. With lock and i use lockdown it's actually not that great uh like it's pretty cool in a lot of situations where i know a lot of a lot of the last campaign we ended up surrounded by andromeda a lot with zephyr so she would have been kicking all of them dealing i think it does like three damage too so it's not bad damage it's just that it's stipulated with they have to get close to you first so you have to be almost taking damage or you can run her in and put her like by a breach point that way as people walk through she's kicking them then that's if people use that breach point and if not then she's just standing there either far away from the enemies or standing out in the open for the enemies that came through i don't think that ooh no i don't think that's a good one to get uh pressure point i think it's the better one still even though it is the same one we used last time i i'm definitely thinking that it's the better one especially with the increased damage and it means that we're always with her we're always getting um the hostages is that what it's called whatever it's like when we take people back i guess it's hostages i don't really know i can't remember what the actual word for it is besides hostage because it's not necessarily that like they're just arrested basically and then we interrogate them for more information so that's really what's happening um but with her since she gets a lot of the kills that's going to bring in a lot of extra info just by her knocking people down which means i could also put in more powerful weapons or more powerful bullets for these other people so like i can use the ap rounds without worrying about getting less and so from captured units or captured enemy uh this is technology i'm trying to get all the field teams just straight away because i feel i see no reason to not just keep buying them unless the scavenger market shows up which then i would be kind of like butthurt since i can't afford anything there but oh well we can always get more intel too right now we have not that much money but soon i know we're gonna need a lot of it i'm gonna go ahead and get more shit how much is this gonna cost us what are we getting next that improved wait why is this in? oh this weapon all my kids to nano kits i want to get the breach explosives next oh that only takes time though it doesn't take the actual delirium like these ones so that'll be fine to level or look into so i'm gonna go ahead and get the money then a uh, review crime scene. Three MPD called. Called a suspect fired a restricted weapon after a spirited altercation. They're offering to let us review the crime scene to see if it relates to our current investigation. I don't see how we get money out of this, but okay. The high quality of Gray Phoenix leadership is what keeps their people loyal. Disrupt their chain of command. Without leaders, their lower ranks will be more willing to talk. that's not the same that they said last time which i did try and specify but i also forgot in the beginning this is a different story in the last like similar missions different story though like slightly different so technically you can play this game three times i'm probably only going to play it twice on camera and then Who do it last time your teeth into something delicious why not give burger palace a try we have everything you need to fill your belly or bellies depending on your species our mouth-watering patties are grown from a kelp-derived protein base designed to appeal to everyone. Pending approval from the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission, you can find us in most city centers. Burger Palace. New name, new location, same great taste. Yeah, so the thing has been that... Oh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Oh, you can play this game three times and get three different stories out of it slightly different of course but i'm only gonna play it twice like i'm not gonna do this game three times in a row because then it's just watching the same thing over and over I'll probably do that third time by myself and just review my video so i know i'm not doing the same thing twice 
are we gonna do it like this patchwork hasn't been on a mission in a while claymore was on the last mission but torque can continue to have a break i think maybe we'll bring torque and blue blood black back at the same time uh in the next one but in the next episode we will be bringing this down or we could what does this give us a hollow scanner okay yeah in the next episode we'll be recovering gray phoenix informants uh but for now i'm gonna be recording right after this i haven't recorded in so long uh anyways thanks for watching don't forget to follow all the other things that i do in the description down below i should put my twitter in there too because i use that a lot more than instagram personally uh i still have my social media director doing the instagram but that's gonna be all for this channel don't forget to like the video and make sure you subscribe as well oh, i also have a bunch of voice changes I'll probably start using those more when i get into the newer stuff yeah bye